I'm not cooking, I'm rapping. Like, you're gonna tell me life isn't great? If my job isn't playing with a frying pan or making words rhyme, singing crime-related poetry? Imagine if I had to do a real job. That's nuts. I wouldn't know what to do. The name of this sandwich is the before and after because it's two forms of the chicken. There's the born and the unborn. Today we're gonna mix the born and the unborn to have something delicious. Sorry if that's a little morbid. Step one, you marinate the chicken. So as you see, we have lemon, a little poultry seasoning. Why wouldn't we? It is poultry. It smells so amazing. I like the color of this too. It almost matches the sweater. We're doing earth tones today. This is that good earth tone chicken thigh. Oh yeah, we're using chicken thigh, by the way. With all the things going on in the world, I figure that uh, I'd like to showcase the fact that the best piece of chicken consists of dark meat and white meat together as one. It's a unity sandwich, you know? The before and after, AKA the unity. Cayenne, because I cook everything with cayenne. Cayenne just brings things to new heights. Second, we have some paprika. Now to be perfectly honest, this recipe doesn't call for paprika. I just like the color that it adds to it, so this is all about color. Damn, this already smells amazing. You can't be afraid to get your hands dirty when seasoning the chicken. We have grapeseed oil here. The reason I'm using grapeseed oil is because you can cook grapeseed oil at a higher flame than olive oil without bad things happening to it. Right now we're taking this rosemary off. Damn, rosemary smells so good. We like to slice the rosemary as fine as possible because as good as rosemary is, who wants a big piece of rosemary in their mouth? You know, the, the way I come up with a lot of my recipes are just dealing with what you have in the house. Like, I'm gone, I travel a lot, so I try not to overshop because what happens is I come home and everything goes bad. So I basically had these ingredients laying around the house. I had some chicken thighs, had some manchego, I had some thoughts, I had some dreams, and I put them all in a pan. Bang! And now we're here. I've been a vegetarian for the last uh, 72 days. I've been eating fruits, vegetables, doing a lot of push-ups and listening to a lot of MOP. MOP will get you in shape. Let me tell you something. You wanna change your life? Eat lettuce, avocado, and have Billy Dan's and Little Fame scream at you while you're doing push-ups in the room. You will change your life. Shout out to MOP. Okay. Is this on? Is the still on? No. It's important to turn it on, right? We're gonna add a little grapeseed oil and we're gonna infuse it. This will release flavor within the oil. I would let these marinate for about a half an hour. I mean, it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, half an hour minimum, but let's say you have some errands to run and you gotta go outside and take care of things, go shake hands, kiss babies, buy groceries, do laundry. You can let this sit for a couple hours if you want, you know? The longer it soaks, the better it tastes. The longer it soaks, the better it tastes. You always try to keep one dry hand and one chicken hand, you know? That's a jewel I learned in the kitchen years ago. We'll go to 12. 12 is good, 12 is a good number. I was really into basketball at 12. I was like a little Charles Oakley or, or like a Mason. I was never Jordan. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna mislead you, but you couldn't box me. I was this size at 12. People thought I was gonna be Shaq, but I just stopped growing. I was literally this size at 12. It was real. I like big whole chunks of garlic. It'll fall apart a little bit. I mash it up too. We need one more piece. I don't really like the number three. I like even numbers. Except for 15. Cause my cousin went to the NBA and his number was 15. And when I was a little kid, that was the coolest thing in the world to me. Like, yo, I had a cousin in the NBA. Shout out to Terrence Wrencher. Yo, Terrence, what up? I'm a bad cousin. I haven't talked to him in about four years. Oh, when you hear that sizzle, you know it's real. You can tell by the sizzle, it's gonna have a good color to it. Oh. Oh. Now I'm cooking it at a lower flame intentionally because I like it to have almost a stew-like texture. Like there's a method to my madness. It's not that I don't know how high to turn the flame. I don't want this to be a hard chicken sandwich. I want it to fall apart in your little mouth when you eat it. I want it to break into pieces in your little mozzie. And this particular chicken sandwich, I like my contrast of flavors. Like, when I, hit, when I hit this with the manchego at the end, that's just gonna bring it to new heights. So, 
You know, you have all these seasonings right here, a bit of spice. What is this, a good multi-grain bread? This is actually a health conscious recipe. Grape seed oil, it's not deep fried. There's grains, there's vegetation. We got a little aguacate. Garlic is good, you know? And we got this little jalapeno. That might not be sanitary. Kissing peppers in the kitchen. You get kicked out the kitchen for kissing peppers. Guess what, this is my kitchen. At least for the next hour and a half. So uh, I'll turn this flame down and just let this cook. Do we have a top for this actually? Actually, we'll can we use this? I'm unconventional. I don't want a, an actual top meant for it. We're gonna turn this down. Now what this does right here, besides make it look like a flying saucer, is it makes sure that it cooks thoroughly. It brings all the natural juices out and gives me more time to talk to you. Let's start cutting this bread. I'm a multi-grain kind of guy. When I have the option, whole wheat, multi-grain, it's like, if you're gonna eat starch, you might as well go as healthy as you can, right? Let's take a glimpse. <laughs> Yo, do you smell this? The whole arena's been permeated. This turns into an arena when I'm here. Is anyone curious to why I'm putting the black pepper on now? Because I forgot to do it before. Pepper is a good finisher. Speaking of a finisher, we're almost finished. Break this down the middle. Oh yeah, we're cooked. I'd say give it about another five minutes on a low temperature. And again, you're not gonna get a chicken thigh sandwich this juicy ever again in your life. You know what, at, at, at this point in the game, I could actually put all the chicken to one side and make room to make these vegetables. Take it to the top. Start with this jalapeno. Shout out to all my homies out in Mexico. I like a lot of spice, but you know, this is like shaking dice right here. This could be super spicy or it could have none at all, depending on, you know, how it feels. This is quite a, a temperamental pepper. It's not like a habanero where you know what you're gonna get. You don't know what you're gonna get here. This could damn near be a green bell pepper or not. Nah. I'm just keeping them separate just to give the onion its own space, you know? Pile the chicken on top of other chicken and um, it's basically cooked. Vegetables the last step. We don't want overcooked vegetables, you know? Damn, this is about to be crazy. Well, we have this here simmering. Great cheese. I like sharp cheeses. I don't have necessarily a favorite, but in this scenario, this scenario calls for manchego. Manchego and nothing else. There's not a substitute. If you don't have manchego hanging around the house, don't even make this sandwich. Don't disrespect me or yourself. I'm using my right hand simply so the camera can catch this. Take note, ambidextrous grating. <laughs> and now we're gonna toast the bread. We go extra. Well, I broke the yolk, but in this equation, it really doesn't matter. And now it's go time. Like I said, I try to keep things minimal, you know, fork, spoon, knife. A good over easy egg. Oh my god. Oh my god. The only way to serve avocado from now on is with an ice cream scooper. All this for a sandwich, right? Take a look. Come help me out here. Can I have water for you to see and how I want you to bite it. <laughs> I'm on break. You gotta let me know how you feel about this. You don't take two bites if you don't mean it. That was a real hug. That wasn't like a tap me on the shoulder <laughs> sandwich was okay. That was a real hug. You now have the before and after. To get the recipe, click the link below. That was there.